Hey everyone! In this video, I'll be taking you through day 18 of our Tokyo to Hokkaido road trip. If you're interested to see how we got here, I've linked the rest of the road trip playlist down below in the description box. We begin our day at Kawakami Shrine, where we stayed the night before. The priest, who is also a motorcycle enthusiast, allows travelers to stay for the night and offers to pray over their vehicle to bring about safe travels. He had my host dad park the RV right out front and then brought the adults inside to sit in on the ceremony. After the priest had performed the ceremony, we thanked him for his hospitality and he gave us an omamori, an amulet you can buy at shrines that brings about luck and protection for the recipient. With a car having just been prayed over for safe travels, it put all of us a little bit more at ease. On the way back to Kushiro, we stopped briefly at Lake Shiraru Toro to check out the scenery and stretch our legs. It's situated in the Kushiro wetlands and is a good place for birdwatching ducks, geese, and even eagles and cranes. Once we got into the city, we checked out one of Hokkaido's three famous fish markets, the Kushiro Washo Market, in search of breakfast. The draw is that you can assemble a katedon by buying a bowl of rice and then going around to the different stalls and picking whichever sashimi or raw fish you'd like to eat. At the market were all kinds of freshly caught fish and crustaceans, ranging from salmon to crab to mussels and everything in between. The other two markets are in Sapporo and Hakodate. Be sure to check out my Hakodate video where we walk through the morning market and see the sights in Hokkaido's southernmost port city. This was also the first time that I'd come across marimo, spherical-shaped algae that only grows in a few lakes in the world. Because of how far north we were, we'd only be seeing more of them. After exploring the fish market, we ventured outside and walked for 10 minutes towards Nusamai Bridge, one of Hokkaido's three famous bridges. Built in 1976, it is the southernmost bridge that crosses the Kushiro River before flowing out into the Pacific Ocean. The current weather really didn't do justice as the expansive waterfront, the four sculptures representing the seasons decorating the bridge, and the golden hour lighting, particularly at sunrise and sunset, understandably make it a popular location. Right next to the bridge sits the Kushiro Fisherman's Wharf Mu, which stands for Marine Hour Oasis. It's a huge shopping center with restaurants, gift shops, specialty stores, and even public facilities like a bus waiting room and a post office. After perusing the department store for a bit, we headed 15 minutes north to a restaurant to celebrate my host mom's birthday with a tasty lunch. From there, we were on the road for an hour and then came to a rest stop on the outskirts of the town that gave directions about walking trails and what to watch out for. A typhoon had been in the area, so here was the coldest it felt since the start of our trip. We got a nice view from our room of the neighboring hotels and the small port set on the lake. We had a delicious dinner, which was an open buffet, and I couldn't get enough of these little berry cakes. They were so good. I especially loved the Hotel Yukata, as they had marimo on them, on brand with the plant and wildlife of the area. I also liked how from each floor you could see down onto the lobby and eating area, and how each room doorway had Japanese-style roofs above them. Alright guys, that concludes day 18 and part 1 of our Lake Akan hotel stay. Thanks so much for watching, and if you feel inclined, feel free to like and subscribe for more of the journey. Join us next time as we take a speedboat out to a cool Marimo exhibit to learn about the algae, then as we shop around a bit in the town center, and then later as we check out a traditional dance of the Ainu people in the evening. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.